Welcome to lesson 1 of web design. In this lesson we are going to be looking at websites, web pages, hyperlinks and URLs. A website, to put it simply, a website is a collection of web pages. For example, Amazon.com is a website and contain millions of web pages that make up the website. Web page. Web pages are what make up the World Wide Web. These documents are written in HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and are translated by your web browser. Web pages can either be static or dynamic. Static pages show the same content each time they are viewed. Dynamic pages have content that can change each time they are accessed. All the information is returned as HTML code. So when the page gets to your browser, all the browser has to do is translate the HTML. A hyperlink. A hyperlink is a word, phrase or image that you can click on to jump to a new document or a new section within the current document. Hyperlinks are found in nearly all web pages, allowing users to click their way from page to page. Text hyperlinks are often blue and underlined, but don't have to be. When you move the cursor over a hyperlink, whether it is text or an image, the arrow should change to a small hand pointing at the link. When you click it, a new page or place in the current page will open. URL It stands for Uniform Resource Locator. A URL is the address of a specific website or file on the internet. It cannot have spaces or certain other characters and uses forward slashes to denote different directories. The first part of a URL indicates what kind of resource it is addressing. The second part of a URL, after the colon forward slash forward slash, contains the address of the computer being located as well as the path to the file. Let us look at an example of the following. This is an example of a website. The website is based on the University of KwaZulu-Natal. On the top left hand corner, we have what we call is the Uniform Resource Locator, which is basically the address of the website. The website itself contains images, it contains text, as well as it can contain video, it has menus that are available, and if we look very closely, they also have hyperlinks. Note the change of my pointer. If I move over a certain word or place in a document, the pointer changes to a hand which points to another page in the document or to another web page. So if I click on apply to UKZN, note it should take us to another web page. There we go. We go to another web page, but still we are on the same site of University of KwaZulu Natal. 